Hi, welcome to Take Tips and Tech Stuff. My name is Ron, and today is Movie Studio Monday, where I do tutorials for people running Vegas Movie Studio. So in this tutorial, we're going to create a real beautiful effect. Uh, before I've done effects, where you're zooming in into a text, right into the actual font, and revealing the video behind. But this one we're doing a little bit different. We're going to zoom in between the text, the two fonts, and reveal the video in behind. So before you start, uh, Movie Studio makes it easy to uh, create text, picture in picture, video, audio, all that. But to make it simpler, delete all these tracks. I take my video, get the timeline, it will automatically create a track view. So the video of Fall Leaves. My favorite videos. I got this video from Pond 5. So let's create some text now. So we'll go to Media Generators, select Text and Titles, drag to the second track. Make it the same length as a project. Now, if you don't see these buttons here, click on here, Edit Visual Button Set, and Show All. Same goes for the preview window. If you don't see your all your buttons, go to More Buttons, Edit Visual Button Set, Show All. Click OK. This way it makes it a lot easier for editing. So here we're going to do some magic. So on the first track, go to Compositing Mode, select Multiply Mask. Let's call this Leaves, since it's fall and the leaves are falling. Let's change this to impact. Thick fonts work really well for this. Scale it up. Okay, let's change the color to black. Outline. Click outline. So we outline. Okay, I'll outline width. Let's bump up the width quite a bit. So we get some video showing in between the fonts. So that's what we want right there. Okay, so now I'll go to the second track, click on Event Pattern Crop, put a keyframe right about here, create a keyframe. Go straight to the end. Now we're going to zoom in. I have to move this in between the fonts. Zoom in in between the fonts. So we're going to play it back like this. There was a video behind. We're not finished yet. Let's render this. So it's a 1080p, 29 frames per second. Let's render it. Delete these tracks. Go to Project Media. Let's import my media. Like the first tracks, it automatically create tracks for you. The audio on there as well, but there's no audio, don't worry about that. Now grab your first video. Let's do a 
three second cross fade. So now we play back to something like this. So it creates a real beautiful effect. This will work well with any type of video, but it's a real beautiful introduction to your projects. So that's all you have to do to create this effect. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, please subscribe. New videos every Monday, Tuesday, and Friday. So once again, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching.